when we started this farm, we were actually focused on different types of animals, meaning that I decided to have chickens, I decided to have turkeys, and many more. But the Muscovy ducks is one of the best options. And it did not prove me wrong. It proves me right. Because the Muscovy ducks now are increasing and increasing in number. There are more than 150, close to 200 ducks. And actually, we already have sold many. That's why I said that this Muscovy ducks farming will not give you headache. Why? Because they're prolific. Number two, they have no known diseases. And number three, they are very hardy. So they can just live anywhere, in whatever type of environment. Of course, we prefer to have water. As this area here have vast of water where they can get their natural food, such as the kohol, the worms, the insects. These are the things that they ate normally. And we just supplemented the feeding with rice, corn, azola, and many more. And in fact, you will witness that we are going to dress one drake today. I decided to dress one drake because the population of the male ducks are increasing and they are fighting. So it is not any more good for the environment. Actually, we have here more than 15 drakes and we have to reduce its population because the ratio is one drake against 15 to 20 hen. I have here 2.5 kilos of this drake, male duck. And actually, I reduced the population of the male duck because in the breeding farm like this, you have to reduce the ratio of the male duck to the female because they're always fighting. That's why if you have 20 hens, you will only need two drakes. That's why I'm enjoying the meat of the drake. And this is what is happening right now. You will see here that we have dressed this one and this is going to be our vayan for tonight or maybe early in the morning tomorrow because we have to marinate this one and we will have a duck adobo. This is the perk if you have a farm because anytime you can just eat your favorite vayan out of the meat of the ducks, chicken, turkeys and even geese. So I'm very inspired to share with you our farming activities here because as you know we have grown these vegetables for breakfast. We have this bitter melon, and then we have this white squash. And in many instances, I enjoyed the fried hito as my breakfast. And we are now engaging into a goat farm. So maybe in the future, we can have roasted goat. That's going to be exciting. So these farming activities is not only enjoyable, but it can sustain the food that we wanted to eat. So it is really not difficult to produce or breed your ducks because they are not that sensitive and they can just lay eggs everywhere. I already made a vlog about this, the tips on how to produce your ducks so quickly. And one of the things that I discussed in my previous video is that to just allow their instinct, meaning that if they're gonna lay eggs in the bushes, then so be it. And just like what happened here, you will see that this hen is incubating dozens of eggs and these eggs are about to be hatched in 
a matter of 10 to 12 days from now. And I'm so happy with these ducks because they are really hardy and they have no known diseases, viruses for that matter. That's why I, I said in my previous blog that this Muscovy duck farming is one of the easiest endeavor in so far as this falls is concerned that you can engage into. So we have in here 36 ducklings and these are day old ducklings that we try to put in here so that they will be safe from the chickens. So we cannot just allow them to, you know, zoo because the chickens are fighting and they will die if the chicken will fight them. So we have here 36 ducklings and I hope that they will survive. We already have perfected the system by just keeping them, you know, in this particular place for two weeks. And then after two weeks, that's the time that we can release them out in the field. So some of the ducks are here, some are already out in the field. That's why we don't have the complete population of our ducks here. They're already anywhere because during the night they are sleeping anywhere in the surroundings. During our first try in this Muscovy ducks farming, we had a little problem about the predators because the lizards are big and they're coming during the night. Even the snakes, they're actually killing our ducks. But then, since we already have this goat house, the natural thing is that many people are coming there. I observed that these predators like lizards and snakes are already driven away because this place is already busy. They have gone to far place. And I have not observed any duckling eaten by a lizard or a snake anymore. So this is a coincidence. This is a blessing in disguise. We did not foresee this, but this gives us a good result. So you guys can see that Anna is already very active now and she is already big. You see that and the palpitation of the heart is really that strong and you know that Anna was born two days ago and she was actually very weak then but then after two hours she became very active and today she is all the more active <laughs> you see that and she is enjoying the milk because the mama has sufficient amount of milk that's why I can sense that there will be no issues about the health because Anna have already drunk the colostrum and it gives her now the natural immunity. So I expect that Anna will really become very strong in the coming days. I'm bringing my broomstick because this Rudy is very naughty. Without provocation, he can just stage an attack. So I'm bringing this one. And as you can see, they're already very settled. They have adjusted to this new place. And the environment for them is actually great because I am not worried anymore when the rain comes because we have this uh, roofings already and they are just fed with overgrown grasses over there and we have vast of food actually we don't experience a scarcity of grasses because they are just available anywhere so thank you guys for watching i hope that you are encouraged with our videos 
And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading videos very regularly. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our regular uploads. So I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World.